So the first stage of this build is to make these rails which the router will run along and that will produce the X direction of motion and the rails are made of this aluminium angle which provides a nice smooth surface for the bearings to run against and to start out I'm going to make these small supports which hold the aluminium angle. And now I'm using glue and screws to attach those supports to two MDF risers which I cut. So to finish off the rails I'm just screwing this aluminium angle to the support. So with the rails done now I'm attaching them to the base and I've already gone ahead and done that to the first one. To attach the rails I'm going to be using a combination of dowels which will be held in dry and screws. I'm not actually gluing these together just in case I want to take them apart at some point. Although I happen to be screwing in from the underside in this instance I do think that this would be a good opportunity to use pocket hole screws if you have them. And finally to provide some support for the rails I'm placing a few spacers along the length of the rails. Now depending on the length of these spaces, small adjustments can actually be made to how tight the fit is between the router and the rails. Now next up I have to make the carriage and this time instead of using a chamfer bit at the router table I'm actually using the table saw. So to allow the carriage to run along the rails I'm using bearings like you can see here and they sort of ride along like that. Now I've still got to do the other side and that means tapping into another piece of aluminium angle so I'm going to head over to the drill press first and drill out the holes to attach the bearings. To speed up the tapping process I'm actually using a cordless drill. One thing I've also just done is to drill in at an angle to provide a bit of clearance for the bolts which attach the bearings on. Now finally with the aluminium angle attached with a few small screws I'm just attaching the final bearings like I did on the other side. It just simply slides so to continue work on the carriage, what I'm going to work on next is what I suppose you could call the Y direction of travel. Now to do that, I'm actually going to use these keyboard draw slides, which a lot of folks seem to use for the linear motion on a slot mortiser. So these should work fairly well. So the first step, like I've done on this one, is to remove the brackets which are welded on. To do that, I'm just going to drill through the the welds over at the drill press. Because I don't want this big overhang here at the back I'm actually cutting the drill runner shorter like you can see with this first one. So to help me with alignment of these draw slides I've actually put together this little jig which references off the side of the carriage and helps me to position the two draw slides and I actually got this idea from Matthias Wandel so thanks to him. And I just used exactly the same process to attach the other halves of the runner to the top of the carriage and so now if I flip this round I should be able to slot it on. Seems fairly smooth. <laughs> 